Have you ever wondered if the traditional guidelines about dietary fats are indeed accurate? For decades, the diet-heart hypothesis has suggested that saturated fats increase the risk of heart disease. But is this truly the full story? Enter the Minnesota Coronary Experiment, conducted between 1968 and 1973, a study that dared to challenge this prevailing idea. Join us as we delve into a groundbreaking study published in the BMJ that challenges this long-standing hypothesis. So, what was the objective of this intriguing study? This fascinating research aimed to scrutinize the effects of replacing saturated fat with linoleic acid in diets. The researchers hypothesized that this swap could potentially reduce the risk of coronary heart disease and death by significantly lowering serum cholesterol levels. Essentially, this study sought to challenge and possibly reshape our understanding of the traditional diet-heart hypothesis. Quite a bold objective, wouldn't you agree? How did the researchers carry out this study? The Minnesota coronary experiment was conducted as a double-blind randomized trial, the gold standard in research methodology. This means that neither the participants nor the researchers knew who was assigned to which diet. The study involved over 9,000 participants, both men and women, from nursing homes and mental hospitals in Minnesota. The participants were randomly divided into two groups. One group was fed a diet high in linoleic acid, a type of polyunsaturated fat found in vegetable oils, seeds and nuts. The other group was given a diet high in saturated fat, primarily from animal sources like meat and dairy. The researchers meticulously controlled the diets, ensuring that the only major difference was the type of fat consumed. This methodical approach allowed the researchers to isolate the effects of these fats on heart health and mortality. With such a comprehensive methodology, the findings of this study are bound to be enlightening. Now let's get to the crux of the matter, the key findings. The results of the study were fascinating and somewhat unexpected. The group that consumed a diet high in linoleic acid indeed experienced a significant reduction in serum cholesterol levels. This outcome initially seems to support the traditional diet heart hypothesis, doesn't it? However, here's where the plot thickens. Despite the notable drop in cholesterol, there was no corresponding decrease in mortality rates. That's right, the lower cholesterol did not translate into a reduced risk of death from coronary heart disease or any other causes. This surprising revelation has sparked a flurry of discussion in the scientific community. It implies that there may be other factors at play in the complex relationship between diet, cholesterol and heart health. These findings certainly challenge the conventional wisdom in dietary science, don't they? What implications do these findings have on our understanding of diet and heart health? The results of this analysis suggest that we may need to reassess our dietary recommendations. It underscores the complexity of our diet's influence on heart health and mortality, indicating that reducing saturated fats may not necessarily lead to a decreased risk of heart disease or death. This revelation prompts us to delve deeper into the intricate relationship between our diet and health. This study indeed highlights the complexity of dietary impacts on heart health and mortality. So what can we take away from this study? We've discovered that while substituting saturated fat with linoleic acid can lower cholesterol levels, it doesn't necessarily reduce mortality rates. This shakes the very foundation of the diet heart hypothesis, urging us to rethink our dietary guidelines. It's a testament to the complexity of our bodies and the foods we consume. Remember, staying informed about health and science topics can help you make better choices. Stay tuned for more health and science deep dives.